talk about how to find the distance between rational numbers p and q. <clears throat> so we're going to use a specific formula here to find the distance between these digits. That formula is the absolute value of p minus q. So let's go ahead and look at how we would uh, use that formula to find the distance between a couple different examples. So if we're looking for the distance between 0 and negative 8, so let's think about how we would plug into the formula. So what would be the value of p here? That would be 0. What would be the value of q? That would be our negative 8. Those are our two numbers we're trying to find the distance between. So when we go to plug them into the formula, we're going to rewrite uh, that. But p is now going to be 0. The formula has a subtraction sign in it. So that came right from the formula. Now, when we go to plug in q, q itself is negative 8. And then we close the absolute values. So this is where students often get thrown off, is that there's a negative or a subtraction sign from the formula, and then the number uh, q could potentially be negative as well. OK, so if we were to actually evaluate that, we could recognize that those two minuses are really going to be like a plus. So we get 0 plus 8, and the absolute value, which is 8, and the absolute value of that is 8. So that's the distance between 0 and negative 8. Yes, I know you could have identified that automatically, but let's start with an example that makes sense for us before we dive into ones that are less intuitive. OK, so let's try finding the distance between negative 2 and negative 1. So p will be negative 2, q will be negative 1. So we go rewrite the formula, absolute value, p is negative 2, minus from the formula, then our negative 1. OK, so this, oh, and then close the absolute value bar. And then we can turn in our, our double negatives into a plus there. So negative 2 plus 1 would be the absolute value of negative 1. And the absolute value of negative 1 is simply 1. So that is the distance between negative 2 and negative 1. Let's find the distance between negative 6 and negative 10. So again, p is negative 6. Q this time is negative 10. So this would be the absolute value of negative 6 minus negative 10. All right, so that's negative 6 plus 10 is 4. And the absolute value of 4 is 4. So that is how we use the distance formula. Let's go ahead and just kind of back this up with some uh, looking at uh, number lines. So if we're asked to find the distance between negative 9 and 5, we could plot these on the number line below. And if we plot those on the number line, you might recognize right away that the distance from negative 9 to 0 is 9, and the distance from 0 to uh, 5 is 5, and you could think about adding them together. So if you thought of it that way, you'd get 14, or we could use the absolute value of negative 9 minus 5. And so inside the absolute value is negative 14, absolute value of negative 14, and that is 14. Now, interestingly, and it's very helpful that it works this way, if you thought about this as how far is 5 from negative 9, 5 minus negative 9, well, guess what? Then you just get the absolute value of 14, which is still 14. So the formula is, is quite beautiful because it doesn't require you to uh, consider the order. It works in both orders. OK, one last problem. Let's find that change in temperature if the temperature rises from negative 15 to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And we can use the vertical number line here. So I'll throw 0 there, 32 up there, and negative 15 there. Great. So you might recognize that there would be a jump of 15 up to 0, and then a jump of 32 more. And that would get us a jump of 47 degrees. We can also use our formula, absolute value of negative 15 minus 32. Close our absolute values. That's equal to the absolute value of negative 47, which is 47. So it changed by 47 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's how you find the distance between two points um, using the distance formula, absolute value of p minus q. Thanks so much for watching.